Good morning guys, Brandon Hutton here. Hope you're having a great day. It is currently 5.30 in the morning and today is the day that we are getting a hair transplant. Definitely the first time in a long time, waking up at 4.30 in the morning, but we do have to drive an hour and a half. The clinic we're going to is in Maidstone. Um, I'll explain more about it and why and all that sort of stuff on the way, but we do have to start getting ready. I gotta make a meal really quickly just so I have something to take with me. There's not really much I have to take. I have to take my laptop because apparently when I'm undergoing the surgery, I might be able to like do some work and stuff. It's a very long process. It's gonna be a very, very long day. We have to be there at 7 a.m. So it's literally gonna be 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. But this is pretty much like the first surgery that I've ever had. How are you feeling about your hair transplant today? <laughs> feeling really good about it. Gonna fill in the spots that I really need filling in, you know? All the bald yeah, spots, you know? hairline right yeah. there. I'm treating this as a preventative matter because over the years, it's definitely in the family and my hair has started to slightly thin. I'm basically having hair put in the areas that's slightly receding and thinning. So when it does actually start to get worse, I have a fantastic hairline that can't recede because they are prosthetically put in hairs from the back of the head. I'll talk more about the surgery and how they're gonna do it. I'm Pretty sure they'll break it down but the reason we're doing it today is a preventative matter so we look better in the future when it gets worse my hair is something that i've always been conscious of especially when i was on prep because when i was on prep is when it really really started to get a lot thinner and more noticeable even geordie mentioned she was like bro your hair's thinning a little bit you made me sound like a monster you, you was very honest i just told you that it looked a little bit thinner than it did before it looks great i love you you're so special <laughs> But if you lift it back, it does actually, I don't even can see that, but it goes quite high up, like all of this here. You can actually see how thin the hair is right there. It could only be a year or so before it's like completely starts to fall out. I do have to wash my hair really quickly because you can't get this done. You can't go to the clinic with product in your hair. They want you to be completely free of all product. Sprays, waxes, all the sort of stuff that you use in your hair, you have to go completely smooth and clean and floppy. And then we'll just head out straight away. Yeah, I got a story to tell. I know they want me to fail. If they throw me into a cell, I know why is she paying the bill. Cause I can afford to be quiet. My city is dying and children are crying. I have very long hair. My longest piece of hair goes past my nose. God, my hair's gonna be so fluffy, not fair, isn't it? Pretty much all prepped and ready. This was my pre-surgery prep. You really don't have to do much. You just have to go with a you just have to go with a, a clean head and they do the rest. The enemies probably you just like a lion. But we got the keys, I promise you. Hold on to the peace inside of you. If it sounds like I have a lack of enthusiasm, I don't know anyone that's ever been excited for a surgery. I'm I'm excited, I'm happy. I'm gonna be very happy about the end result, but today it's gonna be really hard to show. A few days ago, I received a package in the mail from Blue Man. I've been using Blue Man now for the past like three and a half years, so I was very excited to receive this specific package, which is their brand new Coastal Salt Spray, which is actually dropping on the 27th of November. Intermission, within the intermission, it's actually already live because it went live on the 23rd of November, which means as you're watching this video, it's actually currently available if you do want to pick it up and you can get it at the first link in the description, as well as shop their entire Black Friday sale. Now I've been using salt spray ever since high school and I wish I could have been using this one. It's like they've done something different. Some of the key ingredients inside this is cucumber, algae and rosemary extract. Using natural ingredients is so important and I feel like it's one of the reasons why even through competing, on cycle, off cycle, all this stuff with utilizing Blue Man's products, when you use hair products that haven't been made with really high quality natural ingredients, it can actually damage your hair over time. When you're styling it, trying to look fresh for the day, you're actually not realizing that you could could potentially be doing damage to your hair if you don't use high quality products. It's great to pair with the volume cream and my favorite styling product, which is their Monarch Matte Paste. It gives a really nice natural matte finish and paired with their other products, it gives it the hold you need for it to stay in the style that you style it in in the morning for the entire day. I'm gonna freshen up and show you how I use this as well as their other products to style the scalp. salt spray which you apply in when your hair is wet and damp at the same time that you apply the Ascend cream but the final step of the process is adding the monarch matte paste after the hair is dried in the direction you want it to dry in it should have a lot of texture and hold even without this but this just finishes the job 
All right, and then we have it. The hair already is very like volumized, texturized. We are floppy and ready to apply the Monarch. A little bit of this, and then just rub it in your hands, and then just rub it through your hair, and you're done. And there we have it, the hair. If you can see it, it's completely soft for the day. We're feeling fresh. I always, you know, make sure that I spend time on my hair, and make sure that I like it in the day, and it's all set and ready. Blue Man are really good to use because I love using their stuff, and that's why I've used them for the past like three, four years. They are also doing a massive Black Friday sale starting on the 23rd until the 27th. That's it. I'm ready. Now back to the video. Ready to go. Ready. All right, so we just pulled up at the clinic. It took so long to get here because we actually went away that it like, you know when the map pops up and it says like, do you want to save eight minutes on your journey? And it takes you down some like weird lanes. That happened in the lane that it took us down. There was like cars sort of like floating. There was destroyed vehicles. Everyone on the road had to turn around and we had to find the new way. And now we're here. We're half an hour late. We called them to let them know. We called them to let them know. They were very kind about it. They were very understanding, which is great. The consultations, the calls, everyone has been so nice and they've been so lovely to like very easy to be in contact with. So right now we're actually gonna go in there and meet the people who are gonna be doing the surgery. Consent form right here, gotta sign this, gotta sign my life away. I've been here five minutes. <laughs> We are at the KSL clinic in Maidstone. This is very, very close to my house. So if I want to come back for like PRP, aftercare, all that sort of stuff, like you can. You do have to come back for a checkup, like after like 10 months or a year, just so they can see that the growth has happened. If 80% of the hair doesn't grow back, they'll actually redo the surgery. So 100% of the hair does grow, but they can't actually see that until the 10 or, you know, one year mark. Come on, let's still working out. Haven't <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous, of course. I've actually okay. never had um, a surgery before. It's the word surgery and transplant. Hair transplant, six seconds. Two seconds to make it, to take the graft out. Yeah. Two seconds to make an incision. Two seconds to put the graft in that incision. We repeat that two and a half thousand times sometimes. You only need local anaesthetic. We do some medical stuff in the background. Fundamentally, your day is this. Nap, lunch, Netflix. Sounds good. That, Sounds that's like a great it. day. I suppose the focus for your day should be hairline. It's permanent. Have you thought about shape? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, very, very natural. I'm not going to go any lower on the front end, round it off essentially, but keep You're it. You're my perfect patient. Superb. And that's exactly the way to approach this. This hairline will look astonishing in a year. <laughs> Cheers. I guess we're just in the bathroom. I know this is all like very formal, very professional and stuff, but I just like kind of want to have a conversation with you guys before we go in because it's about to happen. We're about to have the hairs extracted. What they do is, if you don't know, they essentially take the hair from the back of your head. They'll like shave a little bit from the bottom. They'll like take the individual hair follicles out and that's what they're going to put in the hairline. God. I'm nervous. Overall, I am obviously like very excited to do this. This is something that I like, I knew I would have to do at some point in my life. I just wasn't sure when, but I'm glad that it's happening now before it like actually looks like it's something that I need. Like I mentioned previously. And of course coming here where the people are just like so easy to speak to. <sighs> Let's freaking do this. Whereabouts are you from? Um, I'm from Birmingham. Yeah, you don't sound like a Brummie. I know. <laughs> okay. Everyone, it's Brandon. So, Brandon, the team that's going to be looking after you today is going to be Sana and Marcy. Yeah. Hi, Brandon. Claire's going to sort your hair out. My sweetie. Right, if you're going to take your jump step into this it. Guy, this guy hates being <laughs> You said he especially came just for this. No, no, even though, he doesn't, need, even, even, <laughs> even though he doesn't need to be here. Do you go in front ice all way? He's out of your pocket. Yeah, this is not going to fit. <laughs> uh, I need to calm down on the sessions. Yeah. Very nice. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> this is just the style I picked for the day. Take the two tablets there, they're transamic acid, they just help to prevent the bleeding. So not too high Claire, she's going to give you like a whatever haircut you want. You're nervous? Yeah, can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> it's not going to look too different to be fair, just obviously a lot shorter. There was no owners in the cars, the cars were abandoned. No way! Lovely to meet you guys. Thank you, you too. Thank you. So you see tiny little fluff taking off. Look how far back. Yeah. It takes it. This is your true hairline. And then on this side, we've got into the hairline a bit because yeah. it's slightly thinner. On. All right, guys, just to give a bit of context to what's actually happening right now. The doctor is drawing on my hairline to the way he thinks it would look the best, matching in to like where my hair like uh, meets in the middle to where it like, you know, grows from the side and stuff, like rounding it off quite nicely. Personally, I think he went a little bit lower than I would have liked because my main goal with this hair transplant surgery is to just 
just look as natural as humanly possible. So I didn't want it to be that noticeable and like it wasn't a straight line, but it was a little bit lower than I wanted. So I proceeded to draw it on myself. I'm, I'm quite an artistic person. I know this is going to be something that lasts forever. I just literally lifted his line up ever so slightly. And then after I drew it on, we looked in the mirror, we assessed it. This took about 10 minutes. And then when I was happy with what I drew on my head, he proceeded to clean it up a little bit, straighten it up, make sure it was completely even. And then when we had the hairline we were happy with, we proceeded to go further. When I give you the anesthetic, it's going to sting a little bit. Key thing is to breathe deeply and slowly, as if you just lifted so many weights and you just need to get your breath back. Okay, so this is when the video started to get a little bit gruesome. So viewer discretion, if you don't like needles, if you don't like blood, if you don't like almost gory content of like seeing someone go under some sort of like procedure, viewer discretion, if you don't like it, skip to the current timestamp that is on the screen. If you want to see everything after the procedure, when it's all done. But if you want to see what actually really happened, then sit back, relax and try and enjoy this. You okay? Yeah. So you're going to get quite a few of these now until it numbs. Yeah. It's got a really good donor area. Should be really straightforward. You okay, baby? Yeah. Remember, I'm doing the worst areas. First. Half of it's done. And you need to let me know even if there's a little bit of stinging. Any pain? There's a little bit of stinging. What about here? Nothing at all. See, he's got really good grass. You can see. see that's, wow. Can you see? Yeah. One graft, two hairs. One graft, two hairs. They can see everything. That's awesome. That means he's going to have really strong, thick hair, okay? He does have thick hair. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Remember, these hairs are from the weakest parts. Do you want to see what your hairs look like when they come up? No, thanks. <laughs> Are you sure? It's no. quite cool. I'm okay. All right, so the first part is now done. I chose not to see like any of the footage yet. I don't want to like look at the camera and like see any of the footage because when they were putting the anesthetic in, my adrenaline released and there's also adrenaline also in the anesthetic and I started to just like not feel uncomfortable. Like it wasn't painful. It was just like I was realizing what was happening and I'm not good with needles. I honestly felt no hairs being removed, which was honestly pretty crazy. So obviously like in the bag and stuff, I bought some squares bars, I bought like my own food and whatever else, but they're actually so kind and went and got me some lunch. I basically just said I wanted it really clean. So they got me some chicken salad baguettes. We have to move pretty quickly. Like the next part of the surgery, I actually put in it in the top of my head is going to commence probably in the next like 15, 20 minutes because because my overall body mass, like my body will metabolize anesthetic so much faster. So I'll start to like feel things sooner and all these sorts of things. So we, we basically need to move a little bit quicker rather than like popping me up with copious amounts of anesthetic. It'd be nice to just utilize what we have had and then not have to just like fill me full of numbing stuff. The weirdest part about it is you feel absolutely nothing like i didn't even watch netflix they, they say like oh you can you can watch netflix and stuff we can put on whatever show you want so i put on some anime but we just got talking so i didn't even play any of it <laughs> and it was it was very very fast weirdest part is because your your whole head is so numb it feels like a rock but when they like make the incision you kind of feel like a crunch like yeah. a, like the skin yeah or like part. walking in the snow it's just weird or like walking in the sand do you, yeah. do you want to sit up yep and have a look, look. obviously I'm an absolute mess right now. Stunner. I should get on stage right now. Worst it, the next time I'll be on stage, I'll have like the best hair. Yeah, that's good. You see now it's perfect. Yeah. The smoothness. I didn't want the hairline to go any lower. The middle point right there, so they didn't do that. But there was some like little gaps. They showed me like a really, like they gave me a mirror, like a zoom mirror essentially. And they showed me like little gaps in the hairline. I even got a free comb. <laughs> So many multiples. I struggle to take singles, but singles they are really important now because we create we create your hair language. All right, guys. So we made it to the final part of the procedure. They're grabbing my hair follicles and shoving them into the holes that were previously punched individually like thousands of times and it, the, it's just so strange how i like couldn't feel a single thing and it's so interesting how like they they punch the holes and they they grab it by the follicle and they embed it so deep into the scalp and then obviously it scabs over it heals the the hair that they're pushing in will fall out and then this new hair over the course of like two three four you know even six months will eventually start to sprout and that'll be my new hairline i just find it wild and here they're just cleaning it up and stuff and it took about two hours oh, yeah. 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 But... Uh, just be careful, very of spicy foods for the next couple of days because it just feel a bit stingy. But basically, just everything that could like potentially raise blood pressure or like you know heat the body up in any sort of way. Like that's why you have to avoid exercise. Just like anything that could potentially make you sweat, make you want to itch, make you want to like you know do sort of, sort of things. We just need to be very careful for the next 14 days. When I'm looking in the mirror, I can literally see the hairs that they pulled out, and it looks like there's hair already growing, but that hair itself is going to fall out. Yeah. And remember, don't forget the PRPs. The first night is the worst, and then once you got the first night over with you should be okay honestly i'm not feeling too bad i feel like it's because the painkillers have kicked in that i feel like i mean i've only had i've had an ibuprofen and a cocodamol so nothing too crazy there are definitely stronger painkillers out there in the world but i'm feeling pretty good we're about to go back i've only had breakfast and lunch and it's literally 
three o'clock and I've usually had about four or five meals by now. A small breakfast and a small lunch, so I really need to catch up on my calories. So hopefully we find something nice on the way back. Tonight will literally be spent relaxing, chilling, and not doing too much. We're gonna do some work, we're gonna do some emails, watch Netflix, and maybe play some Warzone. All right guys, so it is a little bit of time in the future right now. I have actually filmed an entire like seven day recap video of what the healing process has been like over the first seven days since the hair transplant. So I'm gonna show you that in the next video because I feel like this one, it's already been like 16 minutes and I don't wanna miss out on any like valuable information. For anyone that really wants to see like a more in depth, like step by step, what it has been for seven days, the things I went through, like the face swelling and the worst parts about it all and like how I showered for the first time, all these things that were like so, I guess like monumental in the journey and especially having not trained for the past like period of time that I have been recovering It's been a little bit rough and I want to make a video about like the the whole process So I am gonna end this video. I'm actually very very happy that it has been done The procedure as you saw went extremely extremely well so much better than I ever could have imagined Like I woke up in the morning and I was like not feeling myself and I was like not a beat And I didn't even seem excited about it because I was petrified I was so nervous and it was something that I honestly thought that I'd probably get at the age of like 27 28 But I thought it'd be a smart Smarter thing to do to get it when it doesn't look like I need it instead of it being like already too late and looking like I'm balding and being like bro you really need to sort this out now I would have spent a period of my life looking like I have a terrible hairline so I thought we'd prevent it now which is what I said at the start of the video and I'm very happy that we did if you do want to check out KSL clinic their link is going to be in the description down below their website their Instagram feel free to book in for a consultation speak to one of the doctors they'd be more than happy to have a conversation with you just let them know that I sent you because I'm sure they would really appreciate Appreciate that. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like, turn on post notifications, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because it really helps the channel grow. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.